Hi guys, it's Mommy Tang. What's up, Tang Gang? Guys, thank you. I really mean that. My heart is so oh, touched because you guys left me so many messages. I feel like I'm like the only YouTuber gets celebrated this much for reaching 100K <laughs> only because I was like going to other YouTubers that have like 130 or 150 subscribers just to see if they get this much love from their viewers. And I saw like, uh, you know, a handful of, oh, congratulations, but me, you guys were like, congratulations. You guys were, some of you guys said you guys cried and some of you guys were like, oh my gosh, it really means a lot to me, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. I can't even like seriously <laughs> tell you how I feel. I feel so blessed. I really do. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you know, I've been doing mukbang for a couple months now, you know, and to be honest, I used to post recipes, the stuff that I want to eat. So I'll be like, Mommy Tang, please do this for me. Mommy Tang, please make this for me. Mommy Tang. And I was like, wait, wait, wait. You know, because I'm not ready to eat it. Obviously, if I was just doing the recipe without eating, I'll be like, yeah, sure. You know, but I got to eat the thing. You know what I mean? I got to eat it at the end. So if you guys tell me to make something and I hate it, then I'll be like, oh, you know, mostly all the stuff that I eat. I love it. That's why I'm just like, oh, so good. You know, so jajangmyeon, here it is. Do I hate jajangmyeon? I love Jajangmyeon, okay, I I love Jajangmyeon. The only thing is, Jajangmyeon is basically made out of two things. Carbs, which is, oh, what, my love, that's what, I, that's what I eat, carbs, I love. But also, fat, it's made out of fat. Carbs and fat, a little bit of protein, but mainly this is why people love Jajangmyeon. You know, it's like eating fries, you know, if you eat potato by itself, you're like, it's good. You know, if you eat oil by itself, you're like, ugh, but you put potato and oil together, you're like, oh. you know what I mean? It's one of those. Jajangmyeon, I've never met anyone that ate Jajangmyeon and did not like it because it's sweet, it's salty, it's filling, it's oily, it's everything, except there's not many recipes out there or many restaurants, in fact, that make this vegan only because, like I said, this is made out of fat, right? So they get the most fatty animal, which is pig. I think they use not bacon, but like the fat part of pig. And that's what they make jazamyeon with, you know, to make it more oily and greasy. So we could eat it, we're like, yes, yes. Not many of you know that jajangmyeon is very fatty food. And you know I'm always on a diet, right? So I'm gonna try to make this, of course, veganize it, but as little, littlest oil possible. However, still, there will be a lot of oil in this dish. This is why I pushed it off to 100K. You know, that was my kind of excuse. Like, wait to 100K, but really I was just like, wait, wait, you know what I mean? Because I still want to lose a little bit of love handles and my arms and you know, who doesn't want to lose extra pound here and there, you know? So I seriously recommend that you try this, but make this as a cheat meal, make this as like your birthday meal, make this a special occasion. Do not eat this every day. Do not eat this every day. You eat this every day, you just go puff up, okay? I gave you warning. Are you ready? This is probably the most prepping I had to do for my mukbang. You know, I usually like to do recipe that I don't have to move around so much or carry everything here from my kitchen. You know, I have a whole party going on here. But I know some of you had this before, before you went vegan. You're like, oh, I want it so bad. I'm doing it for you guys, okay, this was the most requested, like I said, okay? First thing you wanna do, you wanna boil water. Okay. Other way around. Now, when you go shopping for noodles, you want to look for this noodle. Jajang noodles, okay? Sometimes, they're, they usually mix this up with udon noodles. They are located 
in the refrigerator section. I'm gonna try to put a little info box here for you guys right here so you guys get better idea what you're looking for. Yeah, the refrigerator section, but if you don't have this, don't worry. Hey, spaghetti works. Linguini works as well, you know what I mean? <laughs> Always do something around you that will work. You know, like jajang noodle really, from China I think, this is like Korean food but Chinese. Like it's like, it's like Korean, I guess first Korean whoever created this dish went to China, ate something black bean, you know, sauce and they loved it. They came back to Korea and they made it and everybody loved it. So now when you go to Korea, anywhere in Korea, if you go, you could eat this everywhere. It's like pizza in the United States. Everywhere you go, there's a pizza shop, right? Same thing. In Korea, everybody eats this jajangmyeon. Okay, we gotta cut some vegetables, okay? So the first vegetable we need for this dish, we need potato, onion. This is the main, main ingredient. If you have this too, you could pretty much make jajangmyeon sauce, okay? If you wanna upgrade a little bit, to that, then you add cabbage. If you want to upgrade a little bit to that, you add zucchini. If you want to upgrade a little bit to that, you add mushroom, which I don't have. Mushroom, peas, carrots, corn. I don't know anything you could think of, you could put it in there, but I don't know. You know, sometimes you eat fried rice, you just want it simple. You know, if you start adding, oh, these vegetables you're like what am I eating you know what I mean it's like that so go simple okay so for today I'm going to be using like I said one two okay three and four okay what you want to do is while the water is boiling you want to do this pretty quick obviously I'm talking to you guys so it takes a little longer but obviously you want to do this when no one's talking to you, you just want to focus on cooking you know that's what I usually do but not a mukbang. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to cut them pretty small, okay? When I say small, almost like a, a small Lego piece. <laughs> small, okay? Into a little cube, small cubes, okay? That's what we're doing with. Guys, there's really nothing to this recipe really. It's really easy. I just made it look like it was so fancy because <laughs> I told you, you know what I mean? It has so much oil in it. So I was just waiting for the right moment to eat this. <laughs> I'm just evil like that. Okay, see how they're small, like into little, little tiny cubes? Yeah, oh, Pepita. Look, little, little tiny, tiny cubes. Can you see? Okay, gosh. Some of you guys are kind of like, you guys need to get some glasses or something. Okay, so put that aside. Is that tomatoes? It's not tomatoes, it's potatoes. Tomato? Gosh. It's potatoes, not tomato. Next, you're gonna cut up really onion over the sink. I don't have a sink here. Okay, so if I cut onion, I'll start crying. So I'm gonna cut the cabbage next. Just so I don't have to cry, okay? A little bit of cabbage. Mommy Tang, what am I gonna do with leftover cabbage? There's a recipe on my channel, how to eat this. Go look, okay? Cut that up as well into little, little tiny pieces. Cut up zucchini. Okay, into little, little tiny squares. Zucchini is really not necessary. If you want to go fancy, like I said, start adding these, but the most important ingredient here is onion and po not even potato. Some people don't even potato. They put, I've seen people just put onions and cabbage. I've seen people just put cabbage and actually not, just potato and onions. So onion is number one. You need onions. If you hate onion, then I'm sorry. <laughs> There's nothing I could do for that. Okay, so into a little cube. 
And next, cucumbers. Now you could chop the cucumbers like zucchini, put it in there. Some people do that, I don't. Mainly this cucumber is for garnish. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut the sides like so, okay? And this. Let's eat it. You're gonna make it into, you know, thin strips, I guess. Thank God I'm not doing Instagram shots because I'm not even cutting them really nicely. You know, for Instagram, you gotta be all perfect. It's like, oh, what? Crazy, crazy Instagram, I say. Okay, so just, you know, like that, like a little bit, and then just put it away, okay? <coughs> I'll organize it later. Onion, let's do some onion. Now, out of all the ingredients, you need onion the most. Okay, you probably need a whole onion for this recipe. Somebody say whistle while you cut onion. Somebody say wear goggle. Like, really? I'm gonna have a goggle around my kitchen. Oh. Sometimes people tell me weird stuff. Again, you're gonna cut them. into small, small, tiny pieces. Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't taste good when onion is big. In my opinion, okay. Here we go. Make sure you don't do this around people that think you're crazy because you end up crying a lot. Just to prove my point that this recipe is doable with spaghetti, instead of using this noodle that meant to be for this recipe, I will be using linguine today. I might even cook that later so I could eat it because my little kiddo is gonna join me for my mukbang today. So you want to make noodles. And while I cook the noodles, I'm going to be making the sauce. Not many Koreans make jajangmyeon at home, you know, because you could buy it outside. They taste better and obviously Chinese food you have to have strong fire. You know, when you go to a Chinese restaurant, you know, they have the huge wok, you know, the fire. That's how Chinese food tastes good. So, you know, you can't really get that at home, you know, but try your best, try your best. Okay. Now, jajang sauce is very important. If you don't have jajang sauce, you cannot make this at home. Little bit more info for you here, okay? There are many, many, many jajang sauce out there. You could just have to look at the ingredients and see which one you like. I really like this one because it didn't have MSG. <laughs> I don't know. I was just taught as a young person that MSG was not good for you. Maybe that's why, I don't know. So anyways, that's the only thing that you probably have to buy online or at an Asian Korean market, okay? Don't buy Chinese one because this is a Korean dish. It's a Korean Chinese recipe. So black bean sauce, Korean black bean fermented sauce, okay? That's what you're looking for. If they're usually located, you know, beside um, soy paste and gochujang, okay? Oil, look how much oil I'm gonna put. Ugh. I mean, if I put this much, I can only imagine how much they use in the restaurant. Oh gosh, they probably like pour the oil. Onion goes in first, okay? Onion always goes in first.
Don't forget to check on your noodles now. Okay. Hello. I'll be done in like, I don't know, like 10 minutes. Okay, boo boo. When the onions start to re release a little bit of um, their juice, then add in potatoes. <laughs> and the cabbage. Don't put zucchini in it, okay? Because zucchini cooks really fast. You need some more oil. You know what I mean? This is a very, very oily dish. You're going to season it with a little bit of garlic powder. You don't have to. But since we're not using, you know, animal product to enhance the flavor, on your noodles and you don't want to make them al dente you want to you don't want to overcook your noodles but you want to cook your noodles you want soft noodles you know you don't want hard noodles for this dish let's try so good And then you're gonna add some zucchini at the end. When you think the potatoes are done, kinda, that's when you add the zucchini in, okay? Remember, zucchini and potato is not optional. Zucchini is not necessary in here, but I mean, it does bring up the flavor and all that stuff. Just work with what you have. Okay, so when they're almost done, you're gonna put them aside. Get a bigger fry pan. If you don't have a bigger fry pan and that's the fry pan that you are using, then just put the vegetable you know, to a different bowl or something and just use the same fry pan. But you gotta do this separately in order for them to taste amazing, okay? Some people do it together. I don't recommend it. I don't think they taste good. You're gonna add more oil. Remember I told you about the oil, fat. Oh, my noodles. A little bit more. Okay. On to that. Jajang sauce goes in. Okay. This is a secret. What do you mean, mommy? Saying you fry the sauce. That's what makes the jajangmyeon taste really good. You gotta fry the sauce. Not many people do this. Also, sometimes you burn it like me, a little bit here. When you don't wanna burn it, put more oil like I said. Uh -uh. Frying the sauce. They burn fast too, so make sure you don't burn the sauce. You're frying the sauce, you know? Just Fry it a little bit, okay? Low heat, don't use high heat. To that, you add the vegetables. Oh, Jajang so is coming along. You're gonna add some water to it. And let it boil, you know, medium heat, whatever. Oh, look at that. Mix well. Oh gosh, my noodles. 
obviously this is not going to be enough for me, so I'm gonna make some more noodles, but meanwhile. I'm also gonna cook up the regular <coughs> jajangmyeon noodle. And I'll do a little comparison for you, so you guys know. So the noodle comes in in this kind of form. Okay, and look at that, see? They're like, they look like wet pasta, but they're not. And they have no eggs in them, they're definitely vegan. Yeah, wheat flour, water, salt, cornstarch. That's it, okay, no egg here. Two, just in case I don't have enough. You know, I hate when I make something and I don't have enough and I cry about it. Jajangmyeon noodles. Okay, let's cook that. Don't forget about your sauce either. If it gets too thick, just add more water to it. Just don't let it burn. Use, you know, medium, medium heat. You know, don't use like high and then you burn it. You're like, this tastes burnt. I'm like, yeah, you burnt it. Let me try it. Let me try this sauce now. Mm. Oh yeah. Now if you're eating it for yourself, you could eat it like this. You're making it this for your kids or you like things sweet like me, then you start adding sugar. I'll be adding some coconut sugar in here. Some restaurants, they put a lot of sugar. Some restaurants don't, but... I love my dressing and sweet, you know. Some people don't like that. I do. More water? Mommy, what's that cookie smell? It's this, silly. It's on. Cookie silly smells like cookie. I'll try, okay? I'll try to feed you. I don't know yet. Mix well. Look at the sauce, guys. Jajang sauce. <laughs> Also, it's really hot in here now. I can I eat this? I can I eat this? Yeah. Guys, I'm telling you, you make this at home, you'll be like, this is amazing. What is this? This is amazing. That's what you'll say. I know because not even one person out there hates judging my eyes. I think in Korea, 98% of Koreans eat this at home. Just like, Mm. Mm. I like, I like. Some more water in there, you know, because let's keep on. The more you cook it, the more saltier it's gonna get. So if you want to reduce the saltiness, you just keep on adding water. But it's so watery, mommy tank. Don't worry about that. I'll let you know how to thicken it up later, later. Right now, it's all about what you like, the taste. That's what you're going for, okay? So sweet and salty and, look, the re you don't even see fat here. Like when you look at it, you're, gonna, you're not gonna even see the fat here. That's why it's dangerous. Dishes like this, you know? You think you're eating all healthy, but there's a lot of oil in here, you know what I mean? It's all good, once in a while birthdays, you know, celebration, and you know what I mean, just because one of those days. Not every day, like I said. This is done. Yeah, and then follow the instructions, what it says, like it'll tell you in English. Anything that you buy from US, it'll tell you in English. It's five to seven minutes, you know? <coughs> like I said, you could use pasta. So if you find this sauce too watery, which look, it's already, look, I'm gonna just show you a little bit, look. See how it's too watery? What you're gonna do, get potato starch. I happen to have a Korean potato starch, but you could find potato starch anywhere, right? You really don't have to do this step either. Some people don't even do it, but if you like your sauce a little bit, 
on the thicker side, then you use you thick it up with potato starch. But oh my gosh, mommy thing, you buy all this to just use this? Don't worry, I have a lot of recipes using these too. You know what I always say, you want the recipes are bothering me, you know? If you boil it, I think they go thick anyways, but still, I like to thicken it up like that. Thank you. Okay, potato starch, some water. It's okay, you have to mix it up before you put, you can't put the starch in there, it'll, it'll clump up, so you want to mix it up, okay? Mix the potato starch and then put it into the sauce. It'll thicken up right away. Look at this, look at this. You see this? Look at this, look at the sauce. Look at this, it won't even come off my spoon. That's how we do it. Okay, I'll put the fire for that. Oh, it's so hot in here. Just use very, very little bit, you know? You don't want to make this into a cake now. You want to make it into a sauce, thick sauce, a very little bit. See, I have still a lot of left over here. I didn't use all that, just a little bit. Okay. I'm so hungry. I know, it's almost done, boo-boo. Oh, look at this sauce. You look how thick it is now. Look at that, see? Oh my God. I am not kidding you. I had many, many judging in my lifetime and this is really good. Like, it's like a restaurant, five-star hotel. Okay, and then you want to put it on your plate. Oh, look at this, look at this. And they say to rinse the, the noodle because of the starch. You could, you don't have to, it's up to you. I didn't, it's okay. I'm gonna be lazy way. I am sweating. So hot in here. Noodles. Sauce on the top. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Mix it, mix it. It came out a little thick, but it's alright. It's all good. Do you remember the cucumber? Put it on the top for the garnish. Are we done yet? Of course not! People really don't put this on top of the, some people do. Garnish that with a little bit of protein, protein, protein! Mmm. Are we ready for the food porn? I like it. Set up, let's do the mukbang. One thing about jajangmyeon is that you can't eat it clean, especially kids. When you take them out to eat or when you eat jajangmyeon, they gotta eat their old clothes. You gotta wear their old clothes if they wear their new ones. They'll ruin it. How is it, Peppy? Mm, good. Hmm? Mama. Is it good? Oh, look at your dress already. Amber, come and eat. Are you ready? You know how you mix jajangmyeon, right? Like so. If you find jajangmyeon, your jajangmyeon too sticky because of the noodles or the sauce, then just add a little bit more water. Little, actually, little add water instead of oil. Just add water while you do this, and it'll soften it up. Is my machine? Hmm? Yeah. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. I feel like I don't have enough sauce here, but it's so good. It's so good. Some mother-in-law kimchi. Can't <laughs> wait to get to. I knew it would be oh, good. Yeah. I knew it would be yes. Mm. If you never had this before, never had jajangmyeon before, you're gonna, you're gonna flip out. You make this for your non-vegan family member, friends, and you tell them that this is vegan, they're not gonna believe you. It's on a little stickier side. Is it good? I don't have one. Mom, did I do it? Did I do it? Did I do it? Did I do it? Because I make cocoa. Yeah, because I use this top. Because I'm glad this way. You do it mm. really wait. I I like it. It a school. A, a school. Very tough. I have. I also have recipe for jampong. My jampong, so good. Vegan jampong. Tangsuyuk, vegan tangsuyuk, vegan kampunggi. For Koreans, you know what I'm talking about, right? You could do all that. It's all doable. Vegan ass. Mommy mm. <laughs> Tang, when you eat jajangmyeon, you need tangmuji. Hanmuji is takwang. I think that's in Japanese. You know that yellow, radish thing that they give you? Well, remember what I told you about more info? Look at that. Okay, that's what it says on the package. That's what it says. Can I tell you I'm going to go get this for me? Okay. That's what it says. On the package, warning. If you eat this, you get cancer. People still eat it, you know? I don't know that, Mommy Tang. Now you know. But there are brands out there in this world. People do good things. This company is Japanese, <laughs> but they use everything natural. So the color is not that yellow. See how it's a little bit more brownish? And it's not as artificial flavor you know but this is of course you can make that you can make it at home but this is very natural it only has radish sugar brewing vinegar black vinegar salt and rice bread that's it this is pretty good <laughs> remember my cutting board i told you i'm not around the sink don't make me get up. I'm in the middle of eating. I hate it when I'm eating something and my kids are like, Mommy, I need more water. I get them I'm like, Mommy, I need more. I need more tissue. Mommy, I need some more rice. And I have to like get up and up and I hate that. Are there any more kimchi? Yeah. Okay, so this is the takwang. See how the, the, the color is not really yellow? 
you know? But if you really miss Pakwang with jajangmyeon, if you really miss Tammuji with jajangmyeon, this is the way to go. Yeah. Ooh. Mom, I'm going to get some real game, Mom. Hmm? I'm going to get some big, okay? Okay, Mom? Sure. Listen, if you want more sauce to your jajangmyeon, then add more sauce, okay? Some people like their jajangmyeon really, really dark with a lot of sauce, but I like mine like this. If I were to make this for my friends, my guests, I would put more sauce in there. I would. Rebecca! I gave my kids the um, linguine noodles. It's still good because of the sauce, but definitely, you know, judging your noodles is going to be better. If you don't want to lose linguine, then use thick spaghetti. That works too. Mm. And here, mm. try that noodle. Try this noodle, see which one you like. What? Let's see if kids could tell. Try this one, see which one you like. Which noodle do you like? Which one you like? Mm. You like your noodles or you like this one? Hello? You like yours? Hmm? Peppy, here, try yeah. this. Yeah. See if you like yours or you like this. Which one you like better? Do you like your noodle or you like this one? You can't even tell. Yeah. Which one do you like better? Mm -hmm. Amber, which one do you like better? Uh, Mom. Hmm? You like yours? Mm -hmm. The one with the linguine? Mm -hmm. I love. How about I you, Peppy? Which one do you like better? I love yours. Huh? I love yours. You like mine? Yeah. They can't tell. They can't tell the difference. Yes. Okay. Letting me know that I had lipstick like <laughs> near the bottom and the top. How long was I looking like a fool? About 30 minutes of this video? <laughs> you know, if you skip my video, you'll be like, why is she wearing her lipstick like that? Is that you? Fashion statement she's trying to go for. No, I ate my lipstick, and that's why you need to wear vegan lipstick if you're vegan, or else you'll be eating a non-vegan product. Hmm. Wait, you have lipstick that are not vegan? Yes, they do. Mm. Remember I told you, if I eat good stuff, I can't talk. I can't do a mukbang talk because my mind is just so focused on food. Today is one of those. Mom, what? Mommy, let's have you say, you don't want me to do it. Hmm? Let's have 
You said you bought a swimming but you didn't. It's because you would be naughty, right? Oh, I said I was going to buy you a swimming suit? Yeah. No, he's talking about a swing set. Yeah. A swing set? Yeah. That's because it would be too bad. I'm not talking to you, even. But you, you will be, you'll be, you'll be. I'm not talking right to now. you, even. I'm not talking to you, even. Oh my God. She's not even talking to you, even. Oh my God. I don't even know what that means. Oh, sister. What? Yeah. Why do you want to buy swing set for? What are you gonna do with the swing set? I wanna play the swing set. What are you gonna play with? You don't, you don't like what you said. What are you gonna play with? Mama, pot. don't get all that, cause she she was being too bad. She was being a bad girl. Yeah, remember, oh, I, but remember I what happened when she wanted to. You said, wait, listen, listen. I'm just you said kidding. you're gonna share with Amber. Yeah. But you said you don't like her. <laughs> Do you like her then? Yeah. Well, show me how much you like her. I'll think about getting your swing set. Show me how much you like her. I like, I like her. Show me. I like her too. Show me. I like her too. <coughs> she only likes me too. Oh, that means she only likes me too. You know, and at the restaurants, I never eat the leftover sauce that. because there's so much oil. But with mine, sometimes you could put rice in here and then eat it. Mom, remember what happened yesterday? What, what happened yesterday? She, she, <coughs> she wanted to call toys. She, she was crying. So bad that even in the es escalator. That's why she didn't get any toy yesterday. Remember, we went to a toy, sh toy store yesterday. Yeah. She wanted this toy. Yeah. It was like thirty dollars for like a piece of piece of plastic. I was, I'm not, I'm not spending thirty dollars on that. And she went crazy. I was like, I'll get something else. She was crazy. No. So I left the toy shop without getting it to her. Remember, I got remember? It. I got yeah. it. Good girl. Oh, my girl. She came home. She was crying in the car. Please, mommy. Please, I'll behave. Please go back by toy. I said, no, I told you if you're crap, not gonna. You gotta stick to your more, word, you can know? Can I have some more kimchi? Mm -hmm. I love kimchi. <laughs> and just, mom, look at it. Look at it. Look at this, mom. Mom, you know. That way, next time. Mom, look at it. Mom, look I can see. That pita. Next time, so that way, next time, when you take them to toy store, they don't behave, you tell them, listen, if you don't behave, mommy's not going to buy anything, mommy's going to leave the store. Hey. They know, it's for real, hey. so they listen. Hey, you didn't eat any of I think kimchi. that was her first tantrum at a toy store. Yesterday, everybody was looking at me. Everybody. Why? They're all staring at me like, what? oh my god, what are you what doing are you to the child? Now you I was like, I simply said no. no I <laughs> the kimchi. This is it. This is my last bite. I exceeded my limit. Not good. Not good for my diet, you know? This girl, she was at the poster too. She was looking at Peyton, right? Mm hmm. I hope you try this recipe. If you do, please make it, take a photo of it, send it to me by Instagram or Snapchat. Most likely, if you have a really nice picture on Instagram, I will give you a shout out. See you later, Tang Gang. Thank you again for all the support that you give me. Say bye, Tang Gang. Bye, Tang Gang. Ooh. <laughs>